Hello and welcome to Hyper Production TV. In this episode, we're going to be looking at Match EQ. This is a technique using subtractive and additive EQ to get certain elements within the track to blend with others. So I'll show you. So I've got a Logic session opened up here. I've got myself a Rhodes loop and a vocal loop as well. So I'm just going to solo the Rhodes one first and then have a listen. And the vocal one. There we go, and then together. Okay, so they don't sound too bad together. I do feel like they could just be blending a little bit more, uh, just so to sit on top of each other nicely. So when it comes to putting them in the whole track, then uh, they'll sound even better together. So just a quick one here. We're going to go down to audio effects here, go to EQ and then match EQ. Now there's two ways you could apply this, I found. So you can either just press template and then play the track that you've got it on and then press match when you get towards the end of it, when you've got sort of the main bulk of it, uh, so it can analyze all the frequencies within there, and then it will give you a general one which you can sort of play with, so I'll show you. So you click template and then play. Press that, and then match, it will come up with a more exaggerated view because you've sort of, it automatically applies a plus 100% here. Um, which you can sort of invert like that, which is what we're going to get to in a minute, or just sort of boost and reduce that way. <clears throat> now, you're probably asking, why do I just need to put an EQ of the same thing and double it up on one track? That's not what we're doing. So you've got that there, and then what you're going to do, you're going to press copy, and then come down to the vocal, and apply a match EQ to this one, and then press paste. And then that's going to give you the EQ of that of that Rhodes track in which then you can reverse and accentuate so sort of amplify certain frequencies and take away certain frequencies that the Rhodes loop might be um, sort of might be hitting more of or less of and then you just sort of invert them so it fits around the Rhodes uh, loop a bit nicer so but there is a lot there is a, a much quicker way of doing it as well so if we just open up that one and then in fact we'll click We'll just open it up that again just so it starts at its complete default settings. Then we're going to click up here on the side chain and then click on vocal because that's the one that we want this match EQ to listen to. So when now when I press template in terms of learn and then play the tracks both together, this EQ, even though it's on the Rose track, is going to be listening to the vocal track. So if you listen, if you watch here. And then we're going to click match. And then there we go. It's going to automatically do it on plus 100. I don't know why it does that. Um, and then there we have the EQ, or sort of the boosted frequencies of the EQ, where the vocal was hitting. So, but then whatever we do to this EQ is going to affect the roads. So it's only just listening to what's happening in the vocal track. But then what, what sort of EQ we apply actually happens on the roads track. So we're going to invert this. And if we go down to smoothing here, I'll move it left and right so you can see, but this just a, this sort of just sharpens in on particular frequencies that it's hitting. So if we go this way, it's going to really zone in and find and really sort of um, narrow the Q-tips of the particular frequencies that it's hitting. Here it's smooth, and if you go right, sorry, it smoothens out and just gives sort of a general general EQ to that and just makes the q-tips a lot looser and a lot wider so I'll, I'll I'll show you you can be able to hear both when uh, when I play it so we'll just keep it in the middle for now then I'll play it together and I'll also play around with the harshness of this as well so we'll just leave it as, as it was just sort of like that so that's the normal EQ for it then we're gonna flip it Mm -hmm. 
so it just adds a bit more warmth to it where the vocal wasn't hitting so to the overall track of those two sort of coming together it adds that it just sort of fills out the spectrum a bit more and fills in the voids that the vocal wasn't hitting so it does fill it out a little bit more um, I was having to play around with this earlier and I tried to layer it on top and for electronic music it actually it bring a, a sort of a, a different element to it as well a different sound to it um, but for now like, I'll just show you the sort of cutest these are going to be very slight you might not notice them but they will sort of make a difference as well So if you put them on top of each other, it can sometimes make the track sound a bit busy, but that could also work as a creative element to it as well. So... But in the sense of tidying up mixes um, and sort of the to make a, a mix more, uh, basically create a bit more space in the mix and get everything to fit a bit nicer. Um, that, that's that's the way how you do match EQ. And if you do that on sort of ele other elements as well, so if you group all your synths together, um, maybe some e e basses, um, and then put your basses against your drums or you know synthesizers against pianos, pianos against guitars, and then guitars against the vocal. When you start adding it up and start making room for everything. Um, it really does start opening up your mix and give you a lot more headroom and it creates a lot more space within your mix as well and it gets you it, when it comes down to your mix down it makes it a lot easier to set your levels as well and also uh, just make your, your, your mix generally sound a bit bigger and cleaner and uh, that gives it that professional polish as well so that's it for this episode on learning how to use the Match EQ. Uh, I hope you've sort of learned another another cool tip there. If you do have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also don't forget to subscribe as well and share with any friends or family uh, the videos that you think that might help them in some way. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.